Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Fast Pass with us. I'm Jason. I'm Ken. I'm Blaine. And today we are here in Sacramento at the Scottish Rite Center to visit Sinister Creature Con! So we're going to uh, meet some new friends and uh, see some cool vendors and check out the cosplay show. There's a bunch of stuff we're going to do today. So let's go check it out! Oh yeah, the clown. Are you wanting to see the terrifier? Yeah. I love your shirt, by the way. <gasps> I'm a huge Spider-Man fan too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here with David Howard Thornton at Sinister Creature Con, and he is the terrifier. I, first of all, I want to say I've seen this movie. It is terrifying. <laughs> the, the title lives up to exactly what it is. Um, how excited are you to be here today oh, for Sinister Creature? Con? I'm stoked. I came here three years ago, so it's great to be back again and stuff. I had such a fun time last time, so I'm excited to see what else is going to happen this time around. Um, I, I have a lot of big hope for Terrifier, actually. I, I, I watched this movie, and I felt like it belongs up there with the big horror guys. Jason, Michael Myers, <laughs> I, I absolutely loved it. And from what I hear, there is a second one coming around the bend, right? Yes, yes it's coming out this uh, right before Halloween. So it's coming this year. We're, we're finalizing all those like details right now. It's like, yeah, so it's exciting. It's a huge movie. It's like so much bigger in scale, length, everything than the first one. So y'all are in for a real treat this year. <laughs> I'm so excited, so excited. Uh, Flynn, did you want to ask David a question? Okay, well, come here, come here. Well, what's your question? How does your makeup take so, how does your makeup take so long to put on? He, he wants to know how long does it take you to get your makeup on to become the terrifier? Yes, that's a very good question. Um, originally it took about three to four hours because we were using a different type of mask at the time and different methods, but now we've gotten it down to about an hour or so from this new mask that we've been using that holds up so much better than the last one too. So it's it. I like this new makeup so much better. <laughs> it looks the same though, that's the good thing. Yeah, the good thing. It looks yeah. the same, but it's so much better. It holds up better, it's easier to get on, so yay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. Your really welcome. appreciate it. Looking forward to Terrifier too. What are you scared? <laughs> Hi, I'm here with Lord Blood Raw at Sinister Creature Con, and uh, how excited are you for the show today? I am very excited. I always love Sinister Creatures Con. They take great care of you here. Uh, Look after all your needs. It's always great guests. I mean, look, I'm across from Joe Bob Briggs. You got the great Fred Williamson over here. Uh, Bill Mosley is in the other room. I mean, what do you want? This is an incredible convention. This is going to be great. Incredible vendors. The biggest selection of horror collectibles, artwork, anything you want in the world of horror. Come out to Sinister Creature Con. You're going to find it. Absolutely well said. I don't think I can top that. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. I appreciate it. Charlie, Charlie, are, are you excited to see Joe Bob? I'm so excited. I can't. I can't even describe the feelings right now that are coursing through my body. Yeah, <laughs> and I probably shouldn't. <laughs> Amber would be really missing out on these. Those are cool. Really great work on these. These are awesome. Thank you, man. They're, they're, they're fun. Daddy, daddy. <laughs> I like the flashing lights. Like that's really neat. 
the Frankenstein thing. I mean, these are really, really awesome. How you doing? Beetlejuice. Oh, dude, now this is a good idea. I have so many Funko Pops. This would be a great idea to do something like awesome, this. Dude. You make it. That was carved and made by hand right there. That entire thing. Very cool. Hello, this is Ken Scott. We're at the Sinister Creature Con in Sacramento, California, and my special guest at this time is Fred the Hammer Williamson, football star and uh, action actor. Producer, director. And producer and director. So how's everything going for you right now? I got them fooled. That's all I got to do is keep them fooled. It's like keep them fooled. <laughs> life is like, like gambling, you know. Don't let them see your whole card. Any new projects? I got one coming up. I'm going to Spain the next month to do a film called The Fourth Horseman. It's an Italian Western, a spaghetti Western with Franco Nero. That's my that's my next project. Great. So you got other things after that as well? Oh, heck yeah. I mean, I'm, while I'm over in Europe, which is where I work most of the time anyway, I'll go to Rome and I'll do one of my own action films in uh, in Rome. That's fabulous. Yeah. Great, great job. But I mean, I'm a big fan of yours all the way from when you were back with the Chiefs back in uh, back in Super Bowl one, and and you got the uh, championship ring here. Yeah. So, uh, so the, it's an honor to an honor to meet you, and, and and thank you so much for your time. Hey, it's fun coming here. I'm, I'm anxious to look forward to all your uh, what do you call them, Sacramento nights or whatever you call them here. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Heck, I don't even know. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah, big fun. big crowd today. It's, it's gonna, gonna be it's gonna be a good crowd. It's gonna be fun too. All right, Mr. Williamson, thank you again. Thank you, thank you so much. Ciao. I'm here at Sinister Creature Con with Mr. Bill Mosley, star of Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, House of a Thousand Corpses, and Devil's Rejects. Mr. Mosley, are you excited for the convention today? Yes, I am. I'm very excited. Glad to be here uh, at the Scottish, Scottish Rites. Is this the Scottish Rites building? Center. Or center. I thought it was maybe the temple because <laughs> the R-I-T-E-S part of it makes it seem a little spooky or possibly even haunted. Yes. <laughs> Have there been any unexplained deaths here? I mean, anything I should know about before this uh, wonderful Sinister Creature Con begins? Hey, hey, not that I know of, but it's not out of the realm of possibility. That could definitely have happened. Buried beneath the floor here? Or? <laughs> yeah. This could be the House of a Thousand Corpses and we're be. unaware of. It might be. I mean, I was, I was in actually the Forbidden Room. There's a room off the main room that says no admittance. And I went in there and there were all kinds of relics of the Scottish rights, and I'm just um, a little, yeah, I'm a little nervous. But maybe that's just, you know, the jitters before the show opens. Um, really quick, um, what was it like working for director Rob Zombie on the films you were in? Uh, it was always fun. Rob writes his own material, so he's, it's very, he knows exactly what he wants. He sees it in his head, so it's a lot, you know, as an actor, it's very easy to work with a director like that, or easier. Um, and he's, uh, you know, he's got a crazy view of things like I do. So, kind of get along aesthetically too. So, uh, you know, it's a lot of fun. He writes some great stuff. I, I love to say the lines, and uh, you know, I love to work. He's got a really good eye for talent. So, uh, it's been great to work with Karen Black and Sid Haig and Tommy Tolles, and certainly his wife Sherry Moon Zombie. So, yeah, you know, it's always fun. Great. Well, thank you so much for your time, Mr. Right, Mosley. Thank you. Good luck today. I heard it's right. supposed to be extremely busy, so I'm sure you're going to be slammed. I can handle it. <laughs> Good. All right. See ya. Amber, I'm so sorry. So very sorry. Oh my gosh. What do you think of all those toys? Oh, look at that Buzz and the Spider-Man. Mickey Mouse. Look, that cap's holding his head. Whoa, that thing. Look, who's that? Got the thing through his head. Look at that. Kylo Ren's holding his arm. Whoa. What? Oh my gosh, look at that Power Ranger. Whoa. Look at the minions. Oh my gosh. Yeah, look at them. Isn't that crazy? I'm at Sinister Creature Con and I'm here with Ross Marquand, the star of The Walking Dead and Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame. Ross, how are you doing today? I'm well, how are you doing? I'm doing great, I'm great. Uh, I know we're catching at the tail end. How was everything for you today? Was it pretty good? Oh man, it's been fantastic. I haven't been to Sacramento in like four or five years, but every time I come back here, I'm just 
reminded of how awesome this town is and the fans are so nice and it's been great so um i, I just want to start by saying i'm a huge fan oh, i just yeah. want you to know because i've been watching walking dead since the beginning nice. and i know that the show is coming to a close and is it a little bittersweet because i mean it's a heck of a run as many seasons as you guys got you know it's not even a little bittersweet it's it's massively bittersweet it's um you know it's been eight years of my life and for a lot of these guys They've been on there for the 12 years since the beginning, since 2010. And um, to think that it's actually ending after all this time, it just, it's still mind blowing to me. I don't, I don't quite know how to accept it yet. I still hasn't quite sunk in uh, because, you know, not just, not just because we're out of a job now, but like also those are the, those are the people you worked with every single day for the last season was 15 months straight. Like a family. Huh? Exactly. And it's just like knowing that you won't see a lot of these people as much or potentially ever again it's it's sad it's really sad and we and we we built a, a pretty amazing show i mean like it's 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 going to go down in tv history as one of the best shows ever and it's 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 sad to think that it's over you know yeah i'm actually still holding out hope that there could be an aaron father gabriel spinoff fingers crossed let's make a petition.org thing for that yeah yeah so yeah um so uh you play the red skull in avengers infinity war and endgame and uh, what was that like going through the process to get the makeup and everything on there? Well, actually, it's funny because uh, me, Thanos, Hulk, uh, we didn't have makeup. It was actually, they put these, uh, kind of like a glorified Sharpie, they put like dots on your face, like black pa painted on dots in these special quadrants all over your face. And then you wear a, uh, a halo head camera that sits right here. So it, it goes with you wherever you go. So it's your expression, it's your face, but then they can map out your skin, make it red, take off your nose, do whatever they have to. Do exa exactly. So it's still you in the suit, moving and it's all your stuff, but they can change it after the fact and post with the CGI. And it's just incredible, you know? Right on, right on. All right, la last question. Um, I hear you're going to be playing Obi-Wan Kenobi's voice in the next Lego Star Wars movie. Oh, no, I'm actually playing Han Solo. Han Solo? Yes, yes. What, what is I that do, like I for you? I Obi-Wan Kenobi as well, but I do. Uh, but for this one, I'm just doing on Han Solo, yeah. Han Solo, all right. How excited is that to be part of the Star Wars universe now? I, I've, I've been doing Han Solo in video games and stuff for years, and, and just Legos. Like, that's my brothers and I used to make stop-motion Lego animation. And t to be honest, like, I still kind of want to do that, even though I'm 40. Um, so it's just it's cool to have something from my childhood that I love. I was a huge Star Wars nerd, so still am. And uh, to get to merge those two worlds, Lego does such a great job with honoring the source material that they're, that they're um, doing, but also making it more fun and kind of whimsical and kind of putting their own little touch on it. Right, right. So um, I love the Lego video games. I love the Lego movies. Lego Batman is one of my favorite movies of all time. I mean, like, I'm just so excited to see it because I think we recorded that, like, year and a half ago two years ago almost i want to say i mean it was a long time ago when we did that so i'm excited because i don't recall exactly what happened and i want to see how it all ties together you know so yeah yeah well ross thank you very much Dude, for your time you appreciate much, it yeah. man thanks. good to see you man. thanks guys these i think are really really neat they're journals and they look like the books from the beginning of all the disney movies that is pretty rad shout out to a friend of the show austin <laughs> That's really cool. Ha! Oh man, this, that's really, really cool. I like that one a lot. So, best in show, ladies and gentlemen and creatures of the night, best in show prize, a custom made belt. We are still wrapping a couple stuff up, make sure that we can be precise and fair.
What is your name? Now, are you going to dress up next time? Penny Wayne! Got the hair, so you brought the hair, right? Yeah, all right. And what's your favorite scary movie? I don't understand Q. One more time. It's Seven Kings and of course, that's Penny Are you ready for the minute? Yeah! Alright, thank you for that announcement. Alright, one, two, three. I'm here at Sinister Creature Con with Jib the Clown, who also won one of the awards in the cosplay contest. Great work, by the way. Yeah, there, there it is. <laughs> so, how excited were you going up on stage and doing your performance? Because that's what I would call what you did. It was like a little performance. It, it was, was fantastic. great until my hand slipped. And I was like, oh, don't break your neck. So, uh, then try it again. And I got makeup all over my bib. It's okay. When you held up the sign, I was like, he won me over. That was it. Ah, well, thank you. I made it myself. So you're handing out free candy, too? I lost it. I don't know where my sign is. But yes. You lost your applause sign? I lose everything. Oh, no. All right. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll take one of those. All right. Uh, you want some candy fun? Thank <laughs> you. Yeah, great work, by the way. Just, just awesome. Uh, how long did it take to put this all together? This costume, probably about 20 hours worth of sewing because uh, I rip it into strips and then I sew it all together. But the makeup itself takes like 15, 20 minutes. The, the contacts are what are super eerie. The red with the black dot. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's uh, from 9mm SFX. And um, yeah, at their website you can just go and order them. And pretty cool. They get them custom made for your eyes. So they're not uncomfortable to wear or anything. Nice, nice. Do, do you have a uh, Twitter or Instagram you want to plug? It's on the Popsicle. It's on the Popsicle. And then I will put it in our description on there, okay? Thank you very much. Great work, great work. Okay, so that was our experience at Sinister Creature Con here. You want me to get you down there a little bit? Um, so, Flynn, what was your favorite part of, of today? I don't know. Okay, you want me to come back to you? Yeah. Okay. Um, I had a great time uh, interviewing a lot of the new people. The cosplay competition was really cool. I personally thought that the, um, the Queen Alien costume, that one, deserved to win. And I also really liked the Jib Jib Clown uh, costume that we got to talk to. Um, what uh, What did you like about? Yeah, the no, the co today? the cosplay thing was really interesting. It was just a little bit long, mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, the the people really really went way over on some of these things. They were just fantastic. I, I almost think they should have had the uh, cosplay competition in the panel room, like like separate some time for that and just and that probably would have worked. Yeah. That probably would have worked. But we, we met some great people today. Saw some people that we didn't didn't get a chance to talk to, but it was just interesting. We got to talk to them on the side regardless. And uh, so it, it, was, it was a great day. It, re it really, really was. Um, I want to give a shout out to, uh, thank you to Brian and Tim for inviting us out to allow us to uh, be here to do a lot of this. And uh, thank the Horrific Network, Jimmy, for um, doing the same. Allowing us to be able to participate in this and, and Meet some people we might not have been able to meet at all. So, uh, thank you guys. And, uh, Flynn, did you have anything you want to add? Was there anything fun that you saw? I liked it when I got the lollipop and seen the clown. Yeah. You got to talk to him too, huh? That was Jib the Clown. Yeah, no, no, he's talking about, uh, are you talking about Terrifier or Jib Jib? Jib Jib. Jib Jib, okay. Gave him yeah, the I liked both of them when he did that, when he we're now on the stage and when we got the lollipop. Yeah. Now you got to go on stage today. Yeah, you got to go on the stage. We'll see, see you real soon. soon.